Hello, this is Matt from Brick Cider. Um, happy Earth Day, everybody. Uh, since it's Earth Day, I'm going to plant a tree. You should probably get out and plant a tree yourselves. Um, good time of year for it. We want to try to get it before the trees are uh, quite budding out while they're still kind of dormant. So I'm already getting a little bit late. But you can still grab something from your garden store uh, that's probably dormant and ready to go. Um, first thing to do when planting a tree, obviously, is dig a nice big hole for that tree. That's what I'm doing now. Um, you want the hole to be big enough where you can really spread the roots around that are on the little tree that you're planting out. Um, give it plenty of room. I tend to get a big chunk of sod out of there um, and then go a bit deeper yet. Uh, this is nice, you know, that nice rich soil uh, from right here in the Driftless region in southwestern Wisconsin. Um, your ideal soil is going to be pretty deep and it's going to be well drained, at least for apple trees um, and most other fruit trees that you're going to plant are going to like that. Today I'm actually planting a pear tree which can handle a little bit wetter feet. Um, but overall, yeah, a nice rich well-drained soil that's deep is going to give you the best, uh, best chances of your tree doing well and surviving and giving you lots of fruit in the future. Alright, so I got a decent hole here. Looks like I'm creeping up on two feet deep. It should be about good enough. Um, then what you want to do is fill your hole about halfway with water. I got a big bucket of water here. Yeah, fill it up about halfway. Um, when you transplant a tree, they're really vulnerable and you don't want them to dry out. You don't want those tender young roots to dry out. Um, and then another thing you don't want is you don't want a lot of competition from weeds. So like the sod is going to compete. So sometimes I'll, so I'll try to break up the sod, get the soil loose. And sometimes I'll even throw some of it way in the bottom of the hole uh, if you know that it's deep enough where the sod isn't going to creep back out. So, I'll, you know, throw a little bit in the bottom. But the other side, but if there's extra sod, I just kind of leave it beside. Um, so, sometimes it takes a minute to break up these clumps. All right, so I think I'm ready to stick my tree in the hole. Um, now when you have, I got my tree in a bucket right here. Um, like I said, it's important to keep those roots moist. Um, so like today is kind of a sunny day. You don't want to um, let those roots get exposed to sunlight too much. So I got a bit of water in the bottom of the bucket and then I got some wet newspaper in there just to keep those roots covered and out of the sun. Um, if you're getting a tree from a nursery, often they're pretty dry and you're going to want to actually let them soak in a bucket overnight. There's some, um, there's some uh, nutrient solutions uh, that are good for rehydrating your roots um, that, some, that, that are recommended if you do get those drier ones from a nursery. Alright, so there's our root ball. Like I said, you want to have enough room in your hole to really let those roots spread around. When you put it in the hole, uh, every tree is going to have a graft union. It's usually like either a bulb, bulbous spot near the bottom or a spot where it kind of sticks out sideways. If, it's, if it, this tree looks like it was budded, so it kind of sticks out sideways a bit. Um, you want to make sure that part is at least a few inches above the ground. Probably four inches above the ground is a good way to go. All right, so you stick the tree into the ground. Make sure those roots are spread around. Uh, make sure that graft union is four inches or so up. And then you pile the soil right back in on top. 
try to fill up that hole. You want to make sure your tree is straight up and down, not crooked and sideways when you're putting it in there. Um, just about got it. Yeah, again, don't let the sod, don't put the sod right back on top. Set that to the side. And it's all right if it's a, well, if it's a little bit depressed, if it's not quite as, um, you know, not quite level with the original soil surface, that's all right. Uh, if you got, especially if you have well-drained soil, um, and you can, you might get a little extra moisture in there, which is fine, especially in the first years of growth. Um, and you can tamp it down, give, put a little weight on it, get it nice and stable in there. Um, now, this tree is going to be very vulnerable in its first couple of years of growth, and it's going to be really um, sensitive to competition from other plants around it. So what we like to do is give it a lot of mulch. Um, and here's another Earth Day lesson for you. Here's one of our brick cider empty boxes getting reused. Uh, we actually use cardboard for mulching and then throw wood mulch on top. The nice thing about cardboard is, well, for us it's basically free because we're reusing something. Um, and it also, it'll still permeate water. Your tree won't dry out, but it will smother all the weeds around it. Um, and in the first few years of growth, you really don't want any weed competition or it'll stunt your tree's growth and your tree will really struggle. So uh, ideally you want to go at least a couple of feet out on either side um, to give your plant, or your tree plenty of, uh, plenty of protection from all those other plants. And then I'm going to throw some wood chips on top of there that I got in the wheelbarrow here. I'll spread those around. And you don't really want the wood chips right on the tree itself because they're essentially rotting wood and you don't want to rot your you don't want to rot the stem of the tree or the trunk of the tree um, so you kind of brush it off from the very center and then you want at least a few inches four to six inches is ideal um, but that's a lot of mulch and if you're planting a lot of trees four to six inches of mulch really adds up so we do you know at least a couple of inches um, all the way around the tree uh, we got our little label on the tree so we know what it was. This is actually a hardy Wisconsin pear. That's one you can get at Jung's Nursery. Um, and this tree should be set. Another good thing to do with a young tree is uh, to stake it. Pound a stake in the ground, tie it up um, so it's not blowing around in the wind. You can uh, damage the damage the wood uh, in, the, in its you know, early growth years if you don't stake it. Um, and then you want to make sure it gets water while it's young, especially the first few years if it's dry. Make sure you're watering this thing regularly, never letting it really dry out, and making sure you keep those weeds down, and uh, hopefully in a few years you'll have some fruit. So hope you enjoyed the video. Go out and plant a tree. Happy Earth Day.